Good luck. Welcome back. Here we are playing week 189 of the teaching ladder. Uh, the idea behind this ladder is we get to play a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent and review the game afterward and see what we learn from the experience. So, yeah. 189 weeks. That's a lot of weeks. Should be fun. Um, what to do? What to do? It's been a while. Hmm. All right, we're going to play fourth file rook. At least that's what we'll say out loud. Um, people get really hung up on which file you put the rook on. And your strategy can change by virtue of what you selected, but also it's possible um, to get unique games. Um, interesting. Do I want to offer a trade so early? I don't even normally. Well, no. If I do that, that like this work breaks it. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's just play a more normal castle. Hmm. Yeah, I should just take one second here to verify my overlay looks fine, and it does. Although, um, no, okay. Yeah, it looks fine. Um, all right, so, hmm, that's Boat Castle. I'll tuck the king away here. Um, that makes sense. What's my silver doing all the way back here? I'm being cautious. Uh. <sighs> right, what I want to play is this pawn, but then be prepared to transition to Hymeno. Alright, they're going to play Anaguma Castle like everybody does. So we're just going to have a much more patient everything here. Game's going to get far more complicated as a result. But that's the cost of the... Well, if we exchange bishops immediately... Um, maybe it's not as complicated. Hmm. All right, normally you don't move this knight, but the opponent's doing something different. So we have the opportunity to play an interesting... We could play Silver Crown against Donaguma. But also I'm threatening this fork, um, so that demands a response. Uh... And a resp well, <laughs> that's the thing. Do you push the pod? Do you move the silver? Do you move the bishop? What do you do here? I'm curious to know. I don't even know that there's a right answer or a wrong answer. They're just different degrees of answers that have different consequences.
Now, I want to use my rook, so let's open the bishop line and the rook line. If the gold goes forward to stop me from advancing, then we've got a fork. Okay. Here the bishop has advanced. However, um, now I win a silver. We haven't even gotten out of the opening alive yet, but, um, yeah. Sharp stuff, man. I could push the knight and then the pawn. I could push this pawn, too. If I push bishop takes, if I take the bishop, I've given a rook in a position where I don't, it's fine. Where I'm not afraid of a rook drop for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, this looks super fun. I'm too curious. Show me what's up here. Show me what I've missed. I guess what I've missed is if my knight goes up, they could break this pin with the other silver. Um, and then this silver is free to escape back this way. So, like, I'm playing like an attacking maniac here. Which might be appropriate, but um, it's a unique strategy. What I maybe should be doing is instead, as a calmer, just bring up my silver um, instead of like breaking my castle to do this attack. So, yeah. Forward, forward, ever forward. It would have been nice for me to have spotted this or low. Okay, um, well, interesting. Hmm. What's the point? Maybe they forgot this is blocked? Or if they're intending to expose the bishop, um, maybe they're betting that I'm just going to play rook takes pawn.
I don't know. Timing in this opening is complex. But what seems to be happening is that um, the opponent was trying to decide when to attack and where, when to defend, where to attack and where to defend. And like, uh, yeah, I'm making all these decisions too, but um, I seem to have gotten my pawn back that maybe I shouldn't have gambited in the first place. But um, I'm going to get to put my rook here and push this pawn until this gets dropped back on this file, and then I go back here. Unless some other tactic emerges in the meantime. But um, yeah, it's looking like I'll just be able to run this pawn until this is dropped back in front of the rook. Now, maybe I have some other compelling tactic down the fourth file. Like... Yeah, thank you. We'll take it. Obviously, it's a rated game, so I, I won't be taking advice, even though I can see the chat window. Previous years, I would, like, um, put the chat in emotes only mode during the game. Um just to really limit potential for anything to happen. But um, for me to be able to do that effectively these days, I need a stream deck or something, and I just don't have that. Um, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, here the opponent started building Anaguma Castle, saw that I started building an attack to try to smash it right out of the opening, and now we're here, uh, wherever here is. Um, and the opponent had tried to open the line for their rook, I tried to open a line for my rook, um, and this is getting very complicated. Maybe they're considering pawn 5-5. Five five. If they are, there's a potential silver exchange, and I don't really see my attack going very far here. No. But, um, it's like, that's if I take 5-5, five five, that could go one way. If I just play up my silver to 4-5 instead, um, could go a very different way. Um, I don't recommend moving knights early, but I moved my knight early to try to like threaten several forks and exciting tactics. Uh, and the opponent responded to that, so... Moving the knight seems to have had its intended objective. Oh, also my knight's head is extremely weak, so I can't really move the silver anywhere. Because um, I need the silver. Oh, I need a general to cover this. It could be the gold, but it would suck to have, use the gold there, but I might have to do that. Anyway, I foresaw this possibility um, and fully intended to play this, and this is what I'm playing. Uh, and now they don't have a way to defend this pawn, aside from using this rook. But if the rook moves, then just push, 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 push. So, um, okay, they use the rook. So we push, 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 push. Uh, what's the plan? Okay. I feel like I'm missing something here. Um, they might be considering pawn 5-5 five five next, so that this can break in. Um, hmm. 
if that is their next idea, I should just drop a pawn here. Well, yeah. I should have something defending this. The easiest way to defend that is with the pawn. Um, they might be intending silver 5-5. Five, five. Uh, hmm. Yes, this is all one set of possibilities. Um... Yeah, I don't see what they're doing. So, yeah, there's... Normally there would be a different coordination between um, uh, the defense and the offense. Here, they haven't finished the castle, and their attack is a little discoordinated. Um, and while coordinating an attack can be pretty confusing, figuring out which castle you want to build, um, doesn't have to be confusing. It might not be the right one, but here they just haven't made a commitment other than, like, put the king in the corner, put the silver on 2-2. Two -two. But as for whether they're going to play these generals onto the bottom rank or the second rank, or maybe even the gold goes up here somehow, like, it's all still, there are many things possible. The castle's not complete. Meanwhile, yeah, I've built Mino. Mino could be changed into many other shapes. Um, I was debating Silver Crown, I was debating High Mino. Yeah. Debate rages on. Uh, so if I take... Like, obviously they've looked at this. Uh, so I assume it's just outright bad for me if we do the thing that they looked at. But I don't know that it is. I assume it's terrible, but... Oh, the weakness is this thing here. Um... Hmm. Yeah, giving them more space and time would be bad here. Oh, okay, if I do nothing, the silver goes back, and then up, and then hits my bishop's head. That's their real threat. Um, I wondered why they did this. It didn't seem on its own to do much. Do they have another threat? Um, I mean, the silver... Kind of threatens to hit this somehow. It's not easy for it to hit that. Uh, my silver... I thought I was just going to bring it up here and break the castle in two. Um, that could happen. It's not likely. Um, but what else is it going to do? Like, I could retreat. It seems safe if I retreat. But how good is my attack? Up, up. Well, they're pursuing this. Oh, if this retreats in front of the rook, I can take the pawn. In which case, it'd be useful to have a silver close to this king. Because if I go up, if they take this, if I take that, they drop here. Okay, so I don't take that. Uh, I just push my pawn and activate my rook, and they cause mayhem somehow, but... Um, yeah, it's fine. Is that better than retreating?
Hmm. They want a silver exchange. Okay, I think I have an answer. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three. Yeah, it's fine. We're actually going to play a solid move. And unless I've missed something, uh... I'm doing fine here. The fuck is that? That's them breaking the file open. So, it's good I have a castle, isn't it? I think so. Um...
I think a rook exchange generally favors me. So what I perceive happening next is pawn takes, gold takes, pawn drop, take, 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 whatever, drop, drop, gold back, bishop takes, takes, rook takes, rook. Um, it's on account of that they're going to change their plan. But then I get the file. Maybe they play bishop 3-3. Three, three. But then knight out. Or knight up this way, rather. And bishop... Like, yeah, I'm losing a knight, but it's no big deal. Or knight up this way might be better, because it just blunts the bishop. Like, if the bishop goes up, then the knight and bishop just counter each other for all time, and I always have this foothold to make more threats. Oh, I'm sorry, if the bishop goes up, I just push on the bishop's head like they're trying to push on my bishop's head. That's the idea. Um, then they move the bishop, and then we just keep hitting it. Maybe they bring the bishop on uh, this diagonal with my king. Yeah, this is what I thought they'd do. Hmm. This looks fun. Don't move as quickly as I'm moving. I'm having fun. Um. Maybe this pawn drop might have merit. 
Um, これより秒読みに入ります。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五。うん。<laughs> This is what it comes down to. Thirty seconds. 40秒。Me and my pro rook bias. And here I am very likely to end up having to exchange my rook for something or not win a rook or something like that. Rook takes, bishop takes bishop. All my pieces hang. It doesn't even matter because I'm checkmating them somehow. Because if I take the bishop and the gold, and maybe even this gold, it doesn't matter what happens everywhere else. It's not a race. Or I'm just stupid or missing something. Um, so if Rook takes pawn, I think we take the bishop. Bishop takes bishop, we have to take back. 50秒1、2、3、4、5、6。30秒40秒50秒1三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九。
三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四。Hmm. What to do? What to do? This is the website eighty one dojo dot com. There is a mobile app for it, but yeah. Thirty seconds. Yep. Ah,、uh, what to do? What to do? We all know it's all a matter of time until Otabisha happens. <laughs> we got the king lined up. We got the rook lined up. They have a bishop in hand. Yeah, it, we just know. <laughs>、uh, but even if and when that happens,、um, my position will be fine somehow. <laughs> 四十秒
三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六。三十秒三十秒三十秒
40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。30秒50秒50秒50秒50秒三十秒。四十秒三十秒
30秒40秒30秒。What to do? 40秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。30秒。30秒。They found a fork. That's the fork. Thirty minutes. 
30秒40秒50秒30秒30秒。There's Sabaki. We've activated a rook. If I dropped the bishop here instead of there, none of this would have happened. Oh well. Sanjudio. Sanjudio 
30秒40秒50秒12345678うん I do need to play bottom pawn don't I Okay then That might be too late. Um, 30 seconds. 40 seconds. 50 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 678 <sighs> I might have missed my chance to play bottom pawn. Oh, doesn't matter, actually. Pawn takes pawn, and then they drop another pawn somewhere, sometime, whatever. I just don't know what I'm doing. ご注意を。40秒。50秒。1、2、3、4、5、6。ご注意を。40秒。50秒。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8、9。
30秒40秒30秒30秒。30秒。So, I've stopped babbling and started calculating. Things hopefully are improving. Thirty seconds. 40 seconds. Fifty seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10.
The minute I start talking, things get complicated. I just can't commentate my own game. I'm sorry for that. Sanchu 30秒 yeah, I didn't see this problem until it was too late. Let's take a look at it together. Thanks for the game. Oh, there's signs up here. Well played. Cool. Very nice. So yeah, then after the game we get to review the game together. Uh, that's the whole idea behind the ladder. So that'll be good fun. Yeah. Yeah, this Anaguma is difficult to understand. Um, and like I pointed out, if I dropped the bishop in the other place, this wouldn't have happened, but we would have some other problem.
All right, uh, saw offer. Yeah. Uh, if they can review from the beginning, let's do it that way. So, this is what makes the ladder unique. Um, so we'll see if that's fine. Um, I don't really know what to say because I don't know the opening. I don't know the middle game, and I obviously didn't read the end game correctly either. So this is, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's why I asked the question. <laughs> His head hurts, and he's the one who won the game. That's fine. <laughs> uh, well played. Yeah, um, I guess I can make general remarks to stall for a minute here. But yeah, I... Seemingly, what needs to happen on my end are a couple things. One, I need to watch more good shogi games, like by actual pros or um, just really high level games. Uh, just have a lot of ideas that I can borrow from. Uh, two, yeah, practicing my end games wouldn't hurt. Um, and just three more tactical awareness in some way, shape, or form would probably help too. Just as general remarks. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I knew that it was going to be complicated. Um, I did not believe in the opponent's attack. Even, <laughs> yeah, like, uh, I thought I had successfully invaded. I thought I had warded off their attack. I thought they played a number of confusing moves. Um, at one point, I early in the game, I'd offered a pawn sacrifice that I regretted a bit. But then in the middle of the game, they had offered several pawn sacrifices and then more and more sacrifices. And then I walked into that bishop fork. And so I could just, like, whine about, oh, if I had just seen the bishop fork. You know, it's just the one fork, and that's the whole reason everything went so... No, it's not like that. Chess isn't like that. Shogi's not like that. If you have good ideas, your ideas can have a chance to prevail. So, let's take a look and see just how many ideas I missed. Um... Apparently, yeah, this is a move order for playing Static Rook. We both built reasonable castles here. It's fine for me to do this. It's fine for them to do that. Uh, I'm never quite sure what to play here. Uh, obviously, Anaguma is complex. Uh, so, yeah, had I won the game, the players would just say, oh, you're just a knowledgeable chess player or an experienced shogi player. Like, you just played the right moves because you knew what to do and you had all the experience. But when you lose, it's like, oh, well, maybe that's not the case. <laughs> maybe we're all on equal footing in some way, shape, or form here. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I especially like this one. Uh, yeah, no, that's cool. And this is, I've heard of something. Is this like the tomahawk attack or am I confusing that with something else? I have like, there's so little I know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, opening the bishop diagonal once I'm ready, not before I'm ready. <sighs> In the game, I got extremely confused. Uh... So these, yeah, I especially like this idea. Um, hmm. 
So, yeah, there have been many games in Shogi Wars where I attack down the third file, but those haven't been against this particular formation. Uh. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, had I won, players would just say, well, you're just the more knowledgeable player and the more experienced player. You just knew it. It's not a matter of, like, sound judgment or anything. It's just, do you know the thing? Uh, it's just, it's so discrediting to hear that sort of thing, but whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm having to figure this out, too. Uh, well, uh... Uh, um, okay. Yeah, I don't think if they, like, start shifting the outside of the castle and making all these holes right on its head, I don't think they live to tell the tale here. Um, um, Uh, yeah, they're going off on some tangent, and I'm actually not going to hand the hat over, because, like, it's a cool idea, but we, uh, I don't, like, yeah, okay, I have to hand the hat over, I guess, because uh, I'm not sure what they're talking about. Um, great. All right, let's take a look at whatever they're proposing. Uh, I've already said it's complicated and I'm not familiar, but look, maybe we can figure it out. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if it's not the third file, what is it? I've got this, I've got this, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it seems like this has to be the idea, or you have to come up with some new theory of how to play this, I, I guess. Like, there, if I can't attack on any other file, it's got to be this file. Yeah. So against this, I mean, yeah, that's fine too. I guess. Uh, just immediately push on this, I would think. Moving this silver led to a lot of confusion. Maybe I should have just left it here. Even though, like, that... <laughs> Pushing it up is, like, probably theoretically the right thing to do. In practice, it just leads to me getting extremely confused because I have nothing left to defend this corner, and then I hang my rook somehow. Yeah. Yeah, it's scary, I get that, but... Like... I have to do something. Uh... An edge attack, maybe, but like my bishop and rook and everything's all over here. Uh, I guess. I have no idea. You're probably right, but. I don't. Yeah. I'm just, I guess, no good at this. I don't know. To me, it feels like the weakness is on the third and the first files. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't get it. Yeah. And here, there just isn't enough time for Pawn 1 5 anymore. Right. Yeah. This is what makes it all complicated. So. Okay. But, I mean, this runs into the same concerns that happen in the game, I think. So there's, like, this. Uh, I don't really see what you do about this. Um. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe that. Yeah. Yeah, this at least tries to buy some time to, like, not... whatever. Yeah. Okay, I could see that. This seems a lot safer. Um... Oh, a center foul push. I guess. Yeah, no, that's that's not out of line. I guess part of my mistake is putting the rook on the fourth file in the first place. Even though in the opening I say like um people like give way too much attention to which file did you stick the rook on in the initial position. Maybe I disagree with myself. Maybe just that uh, I stuck the rook on the third file to begin with. Everything would have been okay. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Anaguma's complex. I Obviously, my feelings during the game came across, but... Um... Yeah. It's hard to know what to do. Um... Yeah, this yeah, this is complicated. Right, so there's that, but then oh yeah, right. I take this way. That's right. Yeah, this, this, and then I don't know, something like this. Or I don't know. How I have no idea how to play this sort of thing either. Yeah. That, uh, I don't like this for Anaguma. Um. Hmm. Uh, but, like, there's got to be some way to make this work, no? Hmm. Um. Uh. Uh... 
Yeah, I have no idea. Like, if my idea was good or bad, it just prevented this, but, um... Yeah. Yeah, just some... Well... Maybe. I don't know. I think later they did things that ended up losing the initiative. Um... My pawn sacrifice left me Fugiure with no pawn in hand and no easy way to get a pawn. But then they just immediately gave me the pawn back, which is a bit surprising. Um, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Um, so this got complicated, but... Um... Yeah, so, like, I don't understand. They have a pawn on the second file. What are they talking about? I don't understand this. Uh... Like, there is something here, I just, I don't understand it. Yeah. Okay, I guess that makes some sense. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like, I don't. This all seems very surprising. Uh <sighs> I don't get it. Like uh Yeah, yeah. I don't like this is very surprising. Um uh I guess like uh yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Like, Okay, glad to hear that. Um, yeah, I didn't like my pawn sacrifice on 6-4 either. I was, ex like, obviously I was running low on time, even 
as we're super early in the game. I tried to find any kind of idea, and I just was extremely stumped. Probably bringing my knight forward uh, was a terrible idea in the first place. And my pawn sacrifice on 6-4 looks to further compound that, if I had to guess. I don't know. Oh. Uh, I can look at Pawn 1-5 on my own time. There's, like, surely that hundreds of games that go that way. And, like, this is a really complex thing. Um, <sighs> like, um, I feel dumb for not having done it, but... Um, Yeah, I had a couple recent games where I played left Anaguma and uh, just normal uh, Anaguma. Um, so, you might remember those games. Um, and this gold was causing him trouble. Mm. But yeah, I think the idea is you take time building the castle. You don't panic. It takes a lot of presence of mind to not panic. And then build some attack somewhere and just let everything explode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so dumb for not doing this. Like, this is, like, super obvious. I should definitely be all over this. I feel so dumb for not doing this this way. Um. Hmm, I don't even know what you play next here, but, like, this looks amazing. Um. Yeah, maybe even just take this. I don't... Doesn't really matter. Oh. Maybe it does matter. Uh... <sighs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um... Yeah, that's... Hmm. There's got to be some answer here somehow. Well, this might... Hmm. Maybe this one. Maybe this strikes a balance. That way if he draws his generals away from his king, I can just checkmate him. Um. Yeah. Uh, well, that's kind of fun. Let's see. I mean, I could do this, right? No, 
we attack the bishop. Um, I guess then I have to withdraw. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, maybe I throw in something like this first. It's not even that hard to get the initiative at this point. I don't think. Um, like, if you spend so much time doing all these things here, the king's right over there, the castle is not built. So, like, I'm gonna push here and drop pawns, and like, this, I think I'm heavily advantageous in this position. Um, I think. I could be wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. It gets extremely tactical, doesn't it? Um... Yeah, if I could read tactics better, um, yeah, I could produce perhaps a better refutation of all of it, but uh, I think somehow I get a massive initiative here. Um, Yeah, so, yeah, I think that is advantageous for me somehow. Um, right, right, I don't have a better place to put that pawn. That makes sense. Yeah, the bishop sack looks fun. Like, it, this just highlights, um, like, how how brazen my ideas can be here um oh oh yeah that looks cool yeah and then i could like retreat this way Uh, and then bring this into attack, and then this into attack, and like. Okay. Uh, pity that this pawn's in the way, or we'd have this really nice fork. Um. Hmm. How has my attack run out so quickly? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. Huh. <sighs> How 
That's so weird. So maybe the bishop sacrifice doesn't mate. Um Yeah. That's weird. I would have expected like even something as crazy as the bishop sacrifice to just easily win here, but it's not the case, apparently. Mm. I think that loses at least one tempo. I wouldn't do that. Um. Oh! I should have seen that. That makes sense. No wonder this was so complicated. Um, yeah, you do 6-2 first, and then you do the 8-2. And the castle is just gone. Like, the castle is taking a vacation. Um... Yeah, I might even have time to just take the knight. Um, and, yeah. So I guess what I'm missing just across the board is how to effectively use pawns as part of an attack. To initiate the attack. Um, because, yeah, my opponent showed me how they could use pawns and pieces effectively to start an attack from what looked like nothing. And meanwhile, this, like, extremely basic three-move, five-move, whatever combination, I just couldn't see. That's kind of sad. But it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this particular retreat. Um, um, <clears throat> uh, well, I mean, I could do this, right? Like, just straight up line all the pieces up with their king. Um, maybe this, yeah, no, that's, that makes sense, yeah. This didn't occur to me until just now. Yeah, I could combine both of my ideas of attacking and defending. Um, I don't know what to do here. Is this fine? Is there anything I should be concerned about here? Why am I not seeing one move tactics? Uh, maybe it's fine. Maybe I missed it for a reason. No. So... What am I supposed to do with this? Do I just, like, defend this or something? I don't know. Um... 
we still do this anyway. So this castle is like separated from the king. And if somehow I could get a general, I'd just drop it around here somewhere. Um, yeah, the silver takes to be ambitious. Okay, that makes sense. They actually make use of the knight they just obtained. I have to take this, I guess. Which somewhat splits up my attack, but... Um, yeah, I just... I don't know how to defeat this damn castle. This is kind of cool, but... I have to read way more accurately than I'm reading if I'm going to break this. It's one thing to have the ideas, but you have to execute correctly on the ideas. And I'm not sure that I'm prepared to do the execution just yet. Wow, really? Is there time for that? Not sure there's time for this sort of thing. It looks difficult to defend against. Am I missing something? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what was my point behind this variation? I don't even remember. But um calculation's hard. Yeah, so like this is it just highlights like what is this castle? Um uh Yeah, this whole formation here. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it, it, this might be quite difficult to defend, but maybe, uh, maybe it works somehow. Um, yeah, I just like. The idea that his castle was not complete maybe tilted me a little bit during the game. I, like... Oh. Okay. Yeah. The bottom pawn was pretty clever, too. So, we ended up in one of these sub-variations because, um... We were looking at different things. Uh, I'm not sure I had any questions, so it's good that we get to look at the game this way, because otherwise I'd just be complaining how I don't have questions. But um, but yeah, some of the variations we're looking at are a bit exciting, or I don't know. Um, mm. Uh, uh, I was completely safe in all lines. 
Uh, so I don't trust uh, my ability to read this. Uh, yeah. Like, um, it's a bit humbling. Yeah. So I could say, yeah, of course that looks ridiculous, but who am I to judge? Oh, they're, yeah, okay. Yeah, look, look at what happens there. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that seems sensible enough. <sighs> Maybe, well, I was going to say drop the bishop and skewer the rook to the bishop there and then keep breaking the castle. Right, so this is a sensible fork. I don't know. This retreat seems to get me in trouble. I probably need to play like this. And just not be so greedy. Um, acknowledge it might take a second for me to break in. I was too hasty trying to break down uh, the eighth file here when really this would have been more than fine. I think both in the variation and in the actual game. Um, all right, have a good one. Um, yeah, so... Like, it just really surprises me that this castle's not complete. And so that's why I'm playing all the aggressive moves everywhere. Yeah. Uh... But, yeah, if the king's not safe, like, this is the prime time for me to be doing all the absolutely chaotic stuff. But, yeah, I think just, if I'd pushed this, this probably would have been fine. Uh... This is, like, I am doing absolutely perfect here, compared to the game. I just got way ahead of myself somehow in the game, but here, um, it's all sunshine and roses and whatever. It just seems a lot easier for me to do anything here. And here I've got a horse defending my castle. I have a four general castle that's just doing really well. I can even break in this way. Of course, they'll drop a pawn here or something. And, you know, maybe I'll sacrifice my rook. I don't know. Um, yeah, actually, let's do that. That looks fun. And then you sacrifice the bishop and just, like, this has got to be winning somehow. 
Um, how is, like, if this isn't winning, then what's wrong with Shogi? Oh, we have all the pieces lined up for this enormous attack. While the opponent finally now gets a chance to promote their rook. And we've broken it. Uh, and then we get to play bottom pawn. Like, this has got to be fine, right? The only thing I don't like is that I move the knight forward, but... Hmm. The problem is, I just don't have the reading skill to play this. But, um, it's got to be fine. If this isn't fine, then something's just, like, weird with Shogi. Um... Like, how can you get away with not... Or with this silver-only knight castle? I just... It doesn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. I think that scent is fine here. Oh, okay. I mean, that's an idea. Silver takes seems like an idea, too. Yeah. I assume Santa's doing well here. Like, we've got a horse and four generals and this bottom pawn defending the king. Yeah, Anaguma is scary, but, like, what's it gonna do? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, like... Yeah, I don't know. How did we end up here? This is something that just... I don't know. Like, throughout analysis, like, we were looking at a thing, and we look at a thing, and sometimes... Oh yeah, I was suggesting that instead of retreating my rook, um, that we go into this other complex line. This is a bit early. Okay. I mean, I guess so. Oh. This didn't occur to me as a possibility. Um, If they had another pawn in hand, like then they could break down the file here. But they don't have enough pawns to do that. Hmm... So I guess, like, we're looking at something like this, then. Yeah, or like that. Yeah, so... Yeah, there's stuff like this to consider. Uh, how do you continue this? I wonder. Oh, this first? That could be. Yeah, that makes sense. At least facially. <laughs> okay, that does... Divide the castle. Sure. Um, yeah, this reinforces the castle. But it does make the gold a target. Um, 
I guess we have to play this to defend the gold from a pawn drop on the head. Um, well, I don't know. It's probably not black and white here. So, like, you just take back now and just push there. Probably, I guess. Seems kind of spooky. Um, but, yeah, Anaguma's complex, and here we are on a separate variation. Oh, is there time for... Yeah, maybe. Why take the pawn? Um, uh, I mean, you could maybe defend this way. Uh, I mean, this is an attack, no? Is this... Uh, okay, the king's over here. Um, okay, sure. King's still over here. King's still over here. Um, I don't know. Like, isn't this Anaguma's dream to... Just start an attack that's kind of fun. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that just hangs the silver. Uh, okay. Mm. Hmm. That's a shame. I thought this would be a really easy attack. It's not... Um, hmm, there's a lot of creative ideas, but I'm just not anywhere near reading this well. Um, that's a pity. Like, you'd think the attack would more or less conduct itself there, but evidently not. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, the only, uh, uh, It's just, I got so confused. <clears throat> I couldn't find anything. Oh. Um. What do you do against this, though? It's the same idea as the game, but faster. Wait, but then we take this, and we promote. Okay, but then we take this. Oh, well, I guess that capture might be possible. Like... <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot of variations here that maybe I'm missing something, but it looks like Goto starts an initiative there. So that that's what this is about, is trying to prevent that. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, clearly I misread something. Uh. -uh. Um. 
I mean, maybe this is possible? I don't know. I do get some initiative, which is kind of nice, but... Um, hmm. Um, oh, right. Yeah, this is obviously the right idea in this position. Um, or at least it looks obvious. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, the bottom pawn defense. Uh, <laughs> right, right. This looks well executed for Gota. Uh, right? Uh, I think I agree with all these moves. Yeah. I think that's correct. That entire execution there. So I think that's why... Oh! But you're faster, but now we are looking at an alternative which is slower. Uh, Yeah. So, yeah, trading pieces is good for Anaguma. Um, not sure if that's a surprise. Yeah, probably... Uh... I, like, I'm way out of my element here. Hmm. Hmm. If you say so. Yeah. This dropping the rook down there. I did relax a little bit, I guess, when I saw this. Um... But I didn't play it right, so it didn't matter. Yeah, this is just, just so bad. Everything about it was bad. <laughs> uh, I probably can't afford this. I probably... Yeah, I probably can't afford this. I probably need to play it, like, there. Uh, um... So, yeah, I mean, I've got that score covered. I'd like to attack, but I probably can't. I would like to, though. I just, if I could, I would, but I can't. So I shan't. <laughs> Um. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I think analysis probably isn't merited. It's probably merited discussing that, you know, bishop drop 8-3 is a possibility. Although I wouldn't go so far as to analyze it. Eh. Like, uh... If you want to look at the night fork, we can look at it, but, uh, right. 
Like, I don't understand uh, what you're hoping to obtain with the Night Fork. But never mind, we won't bother with that either, because I'm not reading well anyway, so, like, what's it matter what I say? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Too late, I saw the problem here. So we just played out the actual mate, but if I take the bishop, obviously I'm dead, too. Uh, I guess. I had fun ideas, but... Mm. Yeah, they read way better than I read. Um, they saw a lot more ideas than I saw. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were able to spook the opponent a bit, but unfortunately that was not enough to win the game. So I think this marks like my third or fourth consecutive loss um, in these more serious game formats. Uh, maybe I'm counting wrong. Uh, uh, cool. That's entirely fair. I guess that's why we're... that was part of why we were doing these extended analysis on earlier moves and starting to rush some parts of the mid to end game analysis. Yeah, I noticed that our depth of what we were looking at changed. And part of that's just because end games are things that engines do better analyzing than we do. <sighs> There were tons and tons of ideas, but I just could not read fast enough for any of it. Um, once this dropped, like, between this and the night drop, uh, like, I didn't like my night drop. I was trying to find a way to force it to work. And then this further tries to force it, and, like, I think this is the correct refutation. And I think if he tries to go after material, then I start bringing up all my pieces and somehow deliver many threats. Again, just having this separated from the king seems to defend the outer wall, but if I could just break in in any way, shape, or form, there should be a mate somewhere. But I just played a lot of inaccurate moves. Um, so... Yeah, I just, I don't know what to say. Uh, we'll continue learning. Maybe this will be our year of learning, or our year of rest, or whatever. I didn't play this because I anticipated my whole bishop getting dra uh, trapped in something like this, or a knight drop, or I don't know. And then suddenly I have three major pieces that can't escape the corner. Yes, I could sacrifice this, but, like, this... Uh, I thought I was in too much danger. I couldn't read it fast enough. Maybe this was the right idea after all, trying to promote back here. Um, I could... I don't know. But, like, this is the... This is, we're talking move 109. After, surely I've made dozens of other blunders that I just don't even see or don't understand to be blunders yet. So... Uh, I might be a little tilted by it. I don't know. Um, we had a lot of cool ideas. It's just the game didn't result the way I'd expected it to. And that just seems to be a recurring theme. So, uh, yeah, while other players continue to compliment me for my many ideas and my superior reading ability or whatever, like, it's just not the reality that we're in. Um, uh, yeah. And even here, I was debating, like, do we just push the rook away? And what drew me away from this was this capture. Um, I can't pawn drop here because I have a pawn up there already. So I'm, like, probably in deep shit here. But, um... 
surely somehow somewhere we missed many key ideas uh our opponent had many other ideas they had lots and lots of ideas in post-game discussion and that's pretty cool shows that throughout the course of the game they surely were thinking about just as many things as they were thinking about during post-game analysis um so like i tried to keep up both during the game and after the game um you can't really have a discussion where you're talking about five topics at the same time and like i had many things i wanted to bring they had many things they wanted to bring i kept saying i didn't want to actually bring my own subjects here because i just got rolled and i didn't know what happened but um but when they started to point out ideas, I'm like, hey, can we look at... No, let's look at this other thing. Okay, we'll look at that. Okay, well, let's go back to... No, let's look at something else. It... Post-game analysis can be this way sometimes. And there's just way, way too much to look at for something related to Anaguma. Because I've not heavily studied it. Um, they've played it quite a bit, it sounds like. Welcome, everyone. Yep. So we're just... Uh, taking one last look at this game here i just played another teaching game um against our opponent from france uh they played this really confusing complex opening and uh i didn't know what to make of it yep so raid indeed mahjong gen um pro living in japan doing uh the JPML uh, Mahjong League. So uh, you can find her commentary both on Twitch and YouTube as she's also interviewing pros on her YouTube channel with the Prost thing. It's really fun to watch and hear uh, pros talk about many cool concepts for Mahjong. Yeah, last year we did a lot of Mahjong. It was a lot of fun. This year, I'm trying to get a little bit back into Shogi. We've got, like, our fourth consecutive loss or something. And got a few things to learn about that, too. <laughs> um, yeah, the opponent built up this cool attack. They hadn't completed their castle, so I kept trying to punish the fact that the castle was incomplete. Kept playing all these maybe a bit slack moves at... Um, just trying to play super defensive here. And pieces got traded. More pieces got traded. Um, yeah, it's just... Then they did this exchange, which I didn't anticipate. Maybe this is the key moment. I don't know. I'm going to say that about, like, every moment in this game is, oh, that was the key moment. I, if I just seen that one thing. But maybe this was actually it. <laughs> I don't know. This game's complicated. Um, I ended up like hanging my rook and then got checkmated. So they played well. I'm sure viewers who are both watching currently and also whoever see this video on YouTube will know far better that, or will have lots of ideas. <laughs> and at least some of those ideas will be very strong ideas that I should have seen. So, I don't know how to conclude this other to say it's a little embarrassing, but maybe this year I'll win a game. How about that? Is that how we conclude it? This is a nice mate. I didn't spot this, but they did, so. It was an exciting game. Maybe we just play it for the fun of playing it and just learn things, kind of how I've been taking chess. We're just having fun, reading, watching other games, um, learning more about the history and the culture and all that, and not fixating on my performance. Maybe we do that with Shogi. Or maybe we double down, study all the checkmates, study the openings, practice a lot. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. So for those watching this game analysis, thanks for watching, and we'll see you around.